Hello my alien students, welcome back. So today what we're we gonna learn? We're gonna learn something, actually this is, let's say, consider this part four of this beautiful project, the MEP project, okay? So today what we're we gonna learn? We're gonna learn something called as heat and load calculation, okay? And this is part four of this project. So let's move forward and uh, see how we move forward, isn't it? Okay, see what we have done in, in the earlier classes, you would be maybe notice that I finished the um, spaces, okay? notice that I finished the spaces now yeah can you see this this is called a space isn't it this is another space okay how did we create spaces we got we went to the analyze tab clicked space and then we placed the spaces okay okay now see for us to do heat and load calculation okay you need to know something very important okay this is called a zone okay we've also finished the zones okay so you would be saying, John, I can't see, you know, this is good what you have done, but I'd like to, you know, like um, differentiate between spaces and zones, okay, in the sense, you know, when I look at this, it looks good, okay, it looks good, but I'd like to have it differentiated, okay, because see, when I did this, when I selected it, okay, you could see in red color, okay, how do we do it, okay, type your friend VG, okay, then go to hatchback zones, Okay, there is something called as interference. Interfere fill. Is this clear? Okay, this needs to be filled. This needs to be ticked. Okay, similarly, if you go to spaces, isn't it? Any comments? These things should be uh, ticked. Okay, beautiful. Okay, one more thing. I will just do this. If you see, notice, John, when you keep your mouse on an object, it's called a pre selection. We have not selected, just kept it. It's called hover. Okay, how come it's red color? How come when in my revit it is blue color? If you want to change it, go to file. Okay, options. Uh, user interface, graphics. Here, if you change this to blue, it will be your default. What is default? Okay, just for your information. Okay, see now, if I keep this, it became blue. Okay, anyway. Okay, after this, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to, let's say, select one section, one uh, space, okay, we need to assign it the type of building it is, or type of space it is, select the section, any comments, okay, see, here, space type, no, generally it will be like building, you know, it's not going to be filled, so you're going to type, click here, and uh, let's say, assign the type of building, it is. it's a type of space it is, okay, after this, after this you have finished all of this, one by one you will have to um, assign, okay, it's office enclosed, whatever, this will be another stuff, I have assigned it, one by one I have assigned, okay, where is this, see open plan, whatever, you will have to each um, space you will have to assign like that, okay, any comments, after that, go and in your analyze tab, go and click uh, color fill, legends, okay, that. see there is one trick here, okay, before you click here, just go and edit type and show title. This should be clicked. Any comments? Okay. Apply and okay. Click here. What type of uh, zones we need? What type of color schema? We need uh, zones. HVAC zone. Keep it schema 1. Click okay. Any comments? Automatic it will fill. Edit type. Based on what criteria? Based on the naming it will uh, fill. Okay. I hope this much is clear. Okay. So in the next part, I uh, uh, will start doing load calculation. Okay, this is like a series of videos, okay, where we will, from a blank screen, we started blank, isn't it? And we started adding spaces, whatever, isn't it? So in the next class, which I give you the procedure of doing, how do we do heat and cooling loads procedure, okay? Before that, before we do that, let's uh, show you what to do. Go to manage time, okay, go to project information. We need to change some settings, okay? Manage tab, uh, project information, click energy settings, edit, okay, again, under, make sure ground floor is level 1, this is the most important thing, ground plane level 1, that is the base, click edit, and go down, you would see somewhere called space type, click here, and if, you know, this is called, if there is, let's say the roof, it's, it's, it's now 4 inch lightweight concrete, isn't it, maybe you like, maybe your roof is different, so you can change what you like. Let's say I want it to be 8 inch or something. Okay, 8 inch light at concrete. I can click override and edit what I want to change. Okay, if you want to change everything, click all, override for everything, and change what you want. Okay, based on your project, isn't it? What's the exterior wall? What's the interior? Whatever. 
Hmm? Any comments here? Answer okay. Click okay. So you have to click four times. We click see here. One okay, two okay, three okay, four okay. Any comments? Okay. This is the settings for the project. Okay. Then other thing. Let me finish this in the full, this video only. Okay. Then go to analyze tab. Under heating and cooling loads. Under reports panel, reports and scheduling panel, click heat and cooling loads. Okay, like this one um, dialog box will open. Okay, from there you need to change your location wherever you are. You just change the location. Okay, this is an office type building, isn't it? If you want to, you can change the location, project face. You get the picture, isn't it? You can go and change wherever you want. What's the weather, whatever, isn't it? Based on your location, you can change it. Click OK. OK. There is one more, one minute. Uh, details, yeah. For each room, let's say this is conference. OK. Let's say this is the corridor. You can change the settings for it. How do we do it? See, this is the highlight. This is the corridor, isn't it? If this is a space type, what is its corridor? You can change its values, okay? Because you know each building will have different um, parameters, isn't it? Okay. Similarly, lighting, power, whatever you can change what you like to change, isn't it? Okay. After that, after everything is done, say uh, yeah, go back general and say. Calculate. Okay. Now, uh, what's this? Rivet will teach you. Let's not teach you. Will calculate and provide you the heat and cooling loads for this project. Okay. You need to change whatever because see, I tell you one thing. These settings are most important. These settings vary from building to building. And say, yeah, from building to building, isn't it? So we receive. We got this um, heating and loading, heat and load calculation report. Okay. Now you say, John, why did we do it? I tell you why we did it. Okay. Is this clear? Okay. Now let's suppose I would let's say go to the ceiling plan, isn't it? Now for this area, for this area, I want to calculate this space. Let's say I want to place air terminals. Okay. Imagine that. Let me do undo one second. Okay. Let me undo. So you know you need to see the what's the difference. Why are we doing this? Uh -huh. Loads. We don't want to load. Okay. Listen. Okay. So if we do select a space. Look at this because for us to know to place one second, okay, just a second. For us to calculate or place an air terminal, we need to know what is the calculated supply airflow for this, isn't it? See, it is here not computed, isn't it? Once we place an air terminal here, isn't it? How do we, we will place air terminal, but here airflow will be based on what? Your calculated air, in the coming, coming video, I'll teach you how to do it, don't worry, okay, don't, don't make it complicated, it is easy, okay, any comments, okay, so then what we will do is, yeah, so we go to uh, analyze tab, heating and cooling loads, change the setting, see the type of building, what it is, isn't it, isn't it, we override, whatever, wherever you want to do, change it, okay, and then calculate. Then you would see a rivet after it does the calculation. You would see a rivet filling this. It's not been anymore, not computed. It will be calculated. Okay, just take some time. We will let it uh, load everything. Okay, this is heating and loading calculation report has been created. Click the same space and then go and find your friend. See, isn't it? Why actually see specified airflow 208 liters per second? Okay. What's the other one? Actual airflow. Why actual zero? Because I don't place any air terminal. Okay. I hope this is clear now. Similarly, for every space, you would see the same story. Different, different, uh, specified and calculated, isn't it? Actual zero. Why actual? Because we have not placed air terminal. Let's say we placed an air terminal. System tab. Uh, 260 is the offset. Okay. Just one random question here. Okay. How do I know the ceiling is at 260 millimeter? Uh, 260 centimeter. How do I know that? Okay, give me in the comment section. Okay. Okay. See now what I said. Let's say I placed one air terminal here. We need to change the flow. Two sixty. 
235 isn't it in this space how much is required 208 isn't it but actual is 235 so we need to make it 210 very close isn't it 3% maximum or 5% maximum tolerance isn't it so we said 210 okay now if we click the actual flow you will see isn't it okay anyway i hope everybody enjoyed this beautiful class the cl my aim in this class was to teach you how to do heat and load calculation one of the most important subjects in our hvac designing isn't it how did it go analyze tab reports heat and load but before you do this go to manage tab change the project information isn't it edit type make sure level one is selected options bar okay here schematic type even if you want to change the type of the building not the type of the characteristics of the room or whatever may be the story isn't it click four times okay and we did this isn't it anyway i hope everybody enjoyed this beautiful class see each other in the next class fresh and energized keep moving forward yalla bye